Tom Wills, one of the founders of the sport, he grew up with Indigenous kids and he smuggled aspects of the game into the original rules. But Wills actually wanted rugby because he'd been to rugby school and he pushed for rugby. He was the one who really pushed for the uh, oval ball. It was really Wills that kept on pushing for the oval ball, which of course was a rugby thing. And even in like 1864, which is like five years after the rules were written, he wanted crossbar over the posts. So the kind of response to that sort of arg argument of, of Mangrook is, well, no, in fact, Wills was wanted rugby. This obsession with the origins of the game overlooks the contribution of Indigenous Australians to how the game has evolved since then, you know? And I think the game as it is now owes an enormous amount to Indigenous Australians. It really does. In Adelaide, in, in the 1880s, there was a Point Maclay mission uh, Aboriginal footballers who came to Adelaide and played a series of exhibition games against the senior Adelaide clubs and the crowds were just amazed at how good these guys were because they were fast and they were skillful. And then I think it's in Perth and WA is really where they came into their own because you know the grounds are, are sandier, um, the grounds so are harder, they allowed for those skills that the Indigenous players had to be developed. Um, and I think from there you know you had poly farmers and you know uh, Barry Cable and a bit later, of course, you had Nicky Winmar, the Cracker Brothers, of course, Michael Long, all those guys. I think the way they played was so unique in some ways that they just influenced the game. The people that first formed football were, you know, that played football were public servants, middle class businessmen, a lot of guys became politicians, journalists are very important to the early development of Australian rules in Melbourne. It always had that strong establishment backing. It was played in Queensland in the 19th century. It was the most popular sport in Queensland at one point in the 19th century, before it was taken out, you know, until it kind of faded. And uh, they also pushed very hard in the 1880s, uh, uh, early 1880s into New South Wales. It was, there was a good competition there. But those, they got kind of pushed out of the rugby league grounds the enclosed grounds, so they couldn't get the money that the rugby league people were getting with enclosed grounds where people were paying to get in. So there were, initially, they always wanted it to be a national game.